Hey everyone, we're in the wildlands of the Western Cape in beautiful South Africa. And today we're going on the Franschhoek wine tram. The winelands of the Western Cape in South Africa are absolutely stunning. Amazing scenery and seemingly endless vineyards. You can easily visit the various different wine estates, but for a truly unique experience, there's a Franschhoek wine tram. You can hop on and hop off the tram all day long to experience the different wineries. And as the Globe guys found out, it's not just wine that you can sample. It really is a fun way to explore the area and experience wine and more. So stay tuned and enjoy our vlog of our afternoon on the wine tram in a beautiful part of the world. And if you enjoyed this video, then please consider smashing that subscribe button right now and follow our channel. Oh, it's okay. How are you? Very well, how are you? Have you been helped already? We have been helped. We've ordered gin, so we're just waiting for it. <laughs> Thank you. So we've arrived at the first winery. It's called the Plaisir Winery. And... We had a bit of a welcome glass of wine, so yeah. cheers. Okay. And even though we're on a wine tour, we're actually <laughs> trying gin. So we love gin. We're going to move on to wine later, but yeah, we're yeah. trying gin for now. So, uh, yep. Three different types? Three different types of seasonal local gin. So it's going to be interesting. Sounds amazing. I know, I've just realised there won't be any um, mixes in that. So no, there is. Oh, is there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay then. I'm pretty Phew. sure. I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure I saw tonic. Right, okay. Hope so, good. anyway. <laughs> yes, otherwise, yes. This is not going to end well if we end up in drinking neat <laughs> gin all day. Categorised <laughs> in seasons. From okay. your left, we have summer, and in the middle, autumn, and then last, we have winter. So, summer, autumn, winter. Yes. Right, okay. So we have, we've got our gin, three different kinds of gin, which signify summer, autumn, and winter. Okay, and so these gins are all locally made. It's called Tempest Gin, Tempest Gin, sorry. And the tonics are Barker and Quinn uh, tonics, again, made with all natural ingredients. So we've got tonic water there, and we've got honey bush orange tonic water here. So what we're going to do is try a bit of each and to see which one kind of works for us. Apparently when they first distilled these, they were about 96% uh, alcohol or whatever. So rather than trying to kill us, <laughs> they've reduced that down to 46. So we, we stand the chance of getting out of this winery alive. <laughs> so what have we got? So I think this is the summer one, and I've tried it with hibiscus tonic water okay go so on. do you want to try yours with the other one um, with the other tonic all oh, right okay so yeah the, so the honey bush one right okay no worries I love, well i love taking pictures of that so i'm not very bold with each angle <laughs> what's that like No, it's um, it's you, unusual. You try that with that because that's the hibiscus tonic. Right, okay. That's the honey bush. Yeah, I might prefer it with that tonic actually. <laughs> yeah, same here. Yeah. Right, okay. So we've decided on that, right, okay. How are you guys finding the gins? We just started on number one so far, we're just working mm -hmm. through them. Well, you must just add a little bit of the two tonics in one. Yeah, we've. we've Oh, you mix oh, the tonics? Yes. Oh, okay. both tonics. In. Yes. Oh, right, okay. Oh. Right, okay. Let's give that a go then. <laughs> so that's our summer. I must say the most popular one is the autumn. Uh -huh. Which is much more fruitier. Okay. <laughs> but also the summer as well, with the spice and the cinnamon. It's a, it, it's that's out. what makes it unusual. I think it is that. I was trying to, is, is it spice or cinnamon or something? Yes, right, okay. <laughs> Right, okay, let's try the let's try the autumn. So then. that's our autumn, which is everyone's favourite at the moment. So we'll just put a bit of both in? Yes, just for a little bit of both. Did you first have it on its own? 
Yeah. 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 I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you missed out. I missed out. I'll try that one yeah, over here. Yes. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, no, sorry. No, I didn't have it straight. No. No, mm, yeah, that's probably, yeah, that's quite nice actually. Let me that just one. leave it in here. Yeah, don't it me? is nice, yeah. I do like that one actually. Yeah, it's nice. So that's, okay, so some of my favourite. So far. Mm. So this is winter. So that's interesting about the fact that you have to mix the tonics. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't drink, I can't drink things straight, I just don't like it at all. Just don't like. I didn't think that gin was a drink you drink straight anyway, like you do vodka or whiskey. Or That's brandy. a preference, isn't it? I like them both. But what I can confirm is my least favourite is um, the first one, the summer. I like them all. <laughs> Shock. <laughs> The first one that I have for you is called the Annie Savion Blanc, which is definitely going to be crisp, refreshing, but not sour. Okay. Um, the flavor that you can expect from this one is a slight green pepper flavor, but also a nice tropical fruits lingering on the palate as well. Okay. How is the wine trend? Second one is a blend of Chinon, Bionier, Riesling, Pinot Gris, Savion Blanc, as well as Chinon Blanc. I like oh. to say this is the crowd pleaser yeah. because this is the type of wine I'd like to have when you're giving a wine to a guest when they come to your home. Yeah. I like them both to be fair. Nice. So I'm going to try it now. So this is a Sauvignon. Yes, it's quite a famous wine and it's won several Mm, it's really nice. And where I haven't failed, you need to cleanse the palate. <laughs> and then this one is the blend of. Well, I can't remember what he said now. Well, it's a different one anyway. I think this is like a blend of Pinot and Chardonnay, I think he said. Let's try it anyway. That's really nice as well, but I think I'd probably prefer the Sauvignon as well. Yeah, right, okay. So that's two, two points for the Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> so we've got um, red now. So this is a, I call it a, a, it's a blend, it's um, a, a Syrah. Syrah. Syrah, even. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. Apparently this is a great barbecue wine, so before a barbecue apparently, so we need to have a barbecue in the UK when we get a sunny day. I think you said it's good for before a barbecue, during a barbecue and after the barbecue. So basically any time. <laughs> no, it's nice.
So this has been our second stop on the wine tram. It's a winery called the Verdun Lust and we've tried five different wines. Yes we have. You know, and it's of uh, two whites and three reds or no the way around. <laughs> Somebody's had too much drink. I know, I know, I know, I know. So now we had three, three whites, whites, three and, whites two and two reds, and yes. there's been quite a few blends as well, which there has been really nice. Yeah, 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 absolutely, which is interesting. So you don't think you think about red or white when you don't think about blends of different kinds as well. Yeah, yeah. Becoming experts. Maybe not, maybe not. But in the meantime, it's fun trying or learning to become an expert, that's for sure. One thing you need to remember is to drink plenty of water and also, at some point during the day, have something to eat as well. Yes, which is what we're going to do now. Go grab recommendation. <laughs> Food and water, then wine. going on the bus tram to the next winery. It's our next stop now on the wine tram and this distillery is called the Babylon Nestron and it doesn't just do wine, it does a whole lot of different things. It does, it, it does a salt factory, it does an essential oils, it does a juicery, it does balsamic oil, it does lots of different things. So it's time for lunch, um, we're in the, the greenhouse, which is a bit of a trek from where we got dropped off by the, the bus, I have to say. But it's a beautiful vineyard, it's a very big vineyard, much, much bigger than anything we've been to so far. So we've ordered lunch, so I'm having a Moroccan pot pie with some chips, and Ryan's having a beef uh, layered sandwich, and I'm having a couple of seasonal local juices, um, and then probably topped off with a coffee before we then get back to the wine. You're gonna try your yellow compressed juice. I am. Or yellow pressed juice, I should say. It's amazing, and there's like, you know, something in the bottom of it. But... That's beautiful. I'm trying to guess what's in it. Mel there's melon in it. But then, you try yours anyway. Do you like? Mm. I think it has a bit of peach in that. Peach. Nice one. Mm. Quite tangy. Okay. Okay. Food's arrived. Wow. You're unwrapping. That's a big sandwich. Wow, that looks beautiful. And I've got a pork pie, uh, beef pie, Moroccan beef pie. And look at these chips. Mm. Huge. How beautiful.
So we spent so long on lunch that we didn't have time for any wine tasting but this is a really good place to stop off on the wine tour because it does everything and we've just been inside the, um, the shop that does all the oils and the candles and the soaps and it smells lovely. This one's called Ali Bleu. So let's go, check it out. The first wine from your left is MCC Brut. So this Brut spent 18 ma 30, 36 months sorry, on a lease. Okay. And this judgment took place in March 2020. Okay. So in this wine, you find some brioche, nutty, marzipan, uh, some uh, citrus, um, cinnamon, passion fruit. So the wine is crispy, sharp, it is, zesty, it is very, it is fruity very on your palate. The bitter spiciness at the back of your umami nuttiness. of the day. Ala Bleu is what it's called and here we've tried two white wines. One of them was a sparkling wine which was a brute and we had three red wines including a peanut a peanutage <laughs> and a syrup. And a syrup. <laughs> I prefer the syrup. Is it syrup or syrup? No she pronounced it syrup. Syrup so there you go. Anyway so as you've seen today we've taken the French up wine tram and I think it cost 540 rand for the two of us. Yep in total. So what is that? That's about 25 20, quid? 25 30 quid something. yeah it's not so, it's very reasonable so 25 to 30 pounds it cost uh, for the two of us it is quite reasonable one thing you need to remember is is it's called the wine tram but you spend a lot of the time on a bus and that's slightly disappointing the actual tram line is quite short but there's some stunning views from the tram and I hope that's come out on the video yeah and um, but you know there are some beautiful beautiful wineries um, and we've not explored them all you know you would ideally you know you could you, you could easily spend the full day easily spend the full day going through them all easily yeah we've just had the afternoon and we've done is this our fourth fourth wine. Right? this is our fourth, fourth yeah but you can do a lot more so if you want to make take full advantage of the beautiful wineries in this part of the world then please do the full day yeah uh, and you yeah. won't be disappointed no, absolutely not absolutely not you know this is it's been absolutely stunning you know it's glorious yeah. isn't it as we've seen at one of the wineries that we stayed that was dropped off at there was not just wine but balsamic vinegar candles oils soaps yeah, it was almost like an artisan market so it that was, was really good yeah. um an amazing lunch as well and we had gin as well oh yeah of course yeah so gin. That, that feels gin like hours ago. <laughs> it, it hours ago it was hours ago it was hours ago um yeah. But what you need to bear in mind is you need to pace yourself, drink lots of water, uh, take advantage of some of the food offerings as well. So we had lunch in one place, but you can also have your wine with food pairings as well. And yeah. some of the wineries, uh, they specialise in things like chocolate with wine or cheese with wine. So yeah, do. if that's your kind of thing, check it out. One final thing, if you do want to do a cellar tour, which we did, it seems that a lot of the wineries like you to pre-book. Sorry, we didn't do a cellar tour. We wanted to, but we needed to 
pre-booking the but we didn't realize that, did we? You know what I mean? You know, and the other thing to mention is, so each tasting varies in price from either 60 rand per person or 100 rand per person. Depends whether you want the estate collection or you want the signature collection. But both very, very reasonable. Whether it's a selection of three or five wines, it's more than enough, and you've seen that selection on our video, hopefully. We should also say that the gin tasting was slightly more expensive, but it's worthwhile doing that. So if you do, if you do like your gins and you get the opportunity to do that, I can't remember off the back of my head which winery that was. It was the very second. first one, wasn't it? It was. That was the Plaisir, the Plaisir yeah. winery. So if that is your thing, then please do that because that was really interesting. Definitely. But that's the end of the vlog. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do subscribe to us and we're also on Facebook as well. Give us a like there. Mm -hmm. But from South Africa, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next destination. See you later. Bye.